Young, why do you think that Hay is such a sort of special place in the canon of literary festivals? Um, well, to me, the, the thing about Hay is the enthusiasm of the readers. From a writer's point of view, there are very few opportunities to hang out with other writers, and especially en masse like that. So to set aside some time to get out of London and, and to be with your peers. Every kind of nook and cranny of the place is filled with something interesting to do. So there's loads of jazz, there's loads of music, there's loads of bands, there's kids you know, workshops. There's kids workshops. Every day, there's just, it just has this feeling of creativity about it, which is really fun. From a writer's point of view, uh, it's a kind of paradise because you think, well, who on earth was going to turn up to a reading of mine two o'clock on a Sunday afternoon? And there are 800 people and um, every event seems to be attended enthusiastically. Very uh, book-loving, unpretentious people there. From the questions, you always get a sense that the, the questions are related to a particular book. Do you have any favourite moments indelibly imprinted on your brain? Well, I, I, I did an event at Hay with Sebastian Folks and uh, a third writer who shall remain nameless, who... Um, at the end of the reading, announced to the audience that he was going to the toilet um, and then was never seen again. I was dressed completely inappropriately and everybody was wandering around in wellies and barbers and thick jumpers and I kind of flounced in in ridiculous sandals and kind of a flouncy summer dress and the whole tent was swaying and blowing there was a gale <laughs> blowing drift and I was trying to sort of make my point head and just shivering like this. So it takes a I bad said, hair day yeah, to another level. Yeah. Walk into the festival, 14 miles along the offers Dyke Ridge and then a beautiful descent down into the uh, town itself and the festival was on the edge of the town and I used to try and time my arrival over these 40 miles just a quarter of an hour before my reading <laughs> and I do remember coming down once and seeing people in a field with binoculars <laughs> <laughs> obviously I cut it a little fine and people were getting very anxious <laughs>